like to show you how to create 3D text in AutoCAD. Mainly, I use this technique as more of a function for the view cube and how to navigate around and have people get used to it. So what I'm going to do is create a text object by typing mtext at the command prompt. I'm going to just simply type AutoCAD in capital letters. I'm going to change that. I want a bold font because I'm actually going to explode this and hit OK. So now we have our text object in AutoCAD. And as you can see, if I do change my view cube to a different area, you'll notice it's not 3D. It's just a flat object. We'll go back to the top view. So now what we want to do is underneath the Express Tools on the ribbon, there's a Modify Text command under the Text panel, and we're going to explode the text by selecting it. You'll notice it exploded into different objects. We do want to explode it one more time to get rid of these interior objects as well. So we're going to type explode, select our objects. Now what we're going to do is erase all of these interior lines just by using a simple erase crossing. Erase, and I'm using the crossing and not the window just so I can depict any lines that are duplicates of each other. Erase, erase, and then erase on the D. So now we have some nice letters, but they're still not. In order to make this a, a true using 3D capabilities, we're going to join these lines. So I'm going to type join at the command prompt. And again, I'm going to use a crossing to join those lines. And by selecting it, I know that they've joined. So again, I'm join. Select them all. Join. This one is one continuous object, so I can just select the entire thing. But be careful to pick it. You notice how it didn't do it? So I'm going to type join again. Got it there, join, join the circle, I'm just continuing on with the crossing. I can use different methods of selecting the objects, but you'll notice I have to make sure that they're all in continuous polyline. Join, and we use a CP for crossing polyline just to get around this the right way. If you haven't used selection set option, CP is a crossing polyline. And you'll notice how it joined most of them. And I just have to double check to make sure they're all joined. They're joined. Join the A again. Simply doing a right to left click to make it a crossing polygon. Join again. And then join for the D. Seems a little tedious at first, but this is more of an exercise of how to do some basic 3D tools in AutoCAD. So join again. So now we have these continuous text objects or blocks in AutoCAD. What do we need to do? The first thing I'd like to do is switch over to my workspace for 3D Basics. And what I'd like to do, you see what we have all these options up here on the ribbon tab. And I like using the editing one, but I'm going to switch my view cube. And you'll notice I have these options to go in the upper left corner, lower right, just to give me more of a, a, a visual 3D view. So I'm going to get it to something like that, and I'm going to use the command called Press Pull. What Press Pull does is it'll press your object or pull it up or down. So I'm going to select Press Pull, and we're going to pull both these up. We'll do the A at first, and we'll do point 0.1 is the height. And then we have to do the in interior part too, so point 0.1. So there's an object right there you can see is an actual in 3D. And if I change my visual style, I can see that this is actually you know, a 3D object. But what's wrong with this? By holding down my shift key, I can see, well, it still doesn't have that hole to pick it out of it. So how do we change that? So let me change my visual style back to wireframe. And let's press pull the rest of the objects first. So we'll go back to home, press pull, and we're, we're going to do each of these at point one. Remember, press pull can go either way like I just did now. So I want to actually extract it up. So point one. Point one. Do the same for each letter. Point one. Point one. And you can do any size you want. Point one. You'll notice the reason for the continuous object is so I can press pull this thing up. Point one. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to go back to my top view, and you see there's really nothing. You don't notice anything different. So I'll go back to this view right here. So we have AutoCAD there, and let's do a visual style. I, I do want to see what I'm doing here, and I want to. What I want to do now is subtract out the ones with the interior mode. So let's change to visualize, 
and we're going to go to just a shade. And you'll see that we have this object here, but there's stuff blocked out of there. So let's subtract those. So let's change it to something I can see, which is that. So I'm going to select the Home tab. I'm going to select Subtract. And what Subtract will do, it'll subtract out this middle portion. I'm going to select my entire block, hit Enter, Subtract. I'm going to do the same thing for the O. Select my entire letter, hit Enter, Subtract the center of that. And then I'm going to do it for the A and the D. So just watch what I do. Subtract. Select the letter, hit enter, subtract the A, subtract, select the letter, subtract the D. Now we simply have a beautiful 3D representation of text in AutoCAD. And if I go to top and change my visual style, people won't even know you have it in your drawing. It's simply AutoCAD again. So let's go back to the 3D model and we'll do shades with gray and we'll go up into our view cube. Now the view cube I like to do this so you have your upper right isometric in there, your top. You can move around using the keys and you can always get back home. So let's just show you this one. You'll see how nice the AutoCAD is in text in 3D. If I hold down my shift key, I can do just a rotate. So this is how you actually create a 3D object in AutoCAD.